Guns, crystal meth, and violent criminals. Saskatoon police say that's what's happening on the city streets. The result, officers are having to use more force when dealing with suspects. The chance of a weapon being involved now is more so than the last two decades for police officers. And that's real. Uh, you know, when their officers are pulling vehicles over at night or when they're responding to a home invasion or an armed robbery. One example, police are involved in more chases on the ground and from the air. There's also been more police shootings. Police are using their tasers more often. They use physical strikes more frequently. The tactical team was also called out more times this year than in years previous. All of that contributed to a 31% spike in the use of force incidents by police. 14 guns were fired, 180 police chases were accounted for, and given the crime climate, it's likely not slowing down anytime soon. It's not your fight that goes on in the back of your schoolyard. Uh, these are individuals that have a lot to lose by being apprehended, and they're going to put up a fight. There were more suspects and officers injured in 2017, but despite the overall increase in use of force during arrests, nobody in Saskatoon died during encounters with police last year. Charles Hamilton, CBC News, Saskatoon.